Okay, recognizing patterns of integration. Uh, this is a request somebody gave me. I'm going to do a couple of these questions, 71 through 73, I think. So the first one looks like this. Find the indefinite integral of x times quantity x minus 3x squared to the fourth power dx. And what I think I recognize here is that this, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out this piece right here. Is it possible that this is the derivative of this inside piece? If it is, I'm, I'm undoing the chain rule. And I think that's what's happening here. So I'm just going to do this. If I'm going to take, do some u substitution. I'm going to substitute this piece right here. I'm going to say u is equal to 1 minus 3x squared du dx, a derivative of u with respect to x is equal to negative 6x, isn't it? Do a little bit more algebra here, and du over negative 6x is equal to is equal to dx. And then look, this is what I'm seeing as I look from here to here. I'm seeing, you know what? This x right here is going to cancel that one. So I'm going to do my substitution now, and I'm going to substitute. I, can't, I don't have anything for the x, so there's the x. This is now u. It says u is this, so this is just u. And it says to the fourth power, right? To the fourth power times not dx because we're going to have a, we have a substitution value for dx, and it's du over negative six x. And I ask you to, right? I'll tell you that this x and this x, these are factors. These are going to cancel out. And then I'm also asking you to take a look at this and say, isn't this true that this is actually negative? One sixth here, and it's a factor, so I can put that here. So I'm going to rewrite it again. I'm going to cancel the, the, the x's out, right? Now I'm going to get negative one sixth times u to the fourth, right? Du. And from here, I think I can just we can just integrate, can't we? Sure, we can just integrate here. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate. So integrate. Almost done. Let's see this one in a snap. And it is negative one sixth times u to the fourth makes that u to the fifth over five, doesn't it? Plus c, right? We're almost there. Gonna simplify this a little bit, pull this five out, and get negative one over thirty. And I'm gonna go ahead and resubstitute for u to the for u. And u is equal to u equal to 1 minus 3x squared. I'm just resubstituting here, aren't I? And this fifth is this one right here, plus c. This can be cleaned up algebraically a little bit, but I'm actually not going to take the time to do it because I want to get through two other problems. So um, you can clean up that algebra. I know you can. The next problem that you asked me to do was 72. I did it twice. I kind of screwed it up the first time because I didn't wasn't paying close enough attention. So I'm looking at this, at this, and it says find the indefinite integral of this over x squared plus 6x minus 5. What I messed up on is the fact that it was squared. If it wasn't squared, I thought I had an ln, and I had kind of jumped right off to that ship. But I know that, I believe sincerely, that this is at least part of the derivative of this. It has some part in it. So I'm going to do some u substitution here and say, u is equal to x squared plus 6x minus 5 du dx is equal to 2x plus 3. I'm sorry, 2x plus 6. See, I want that x plus 3 really badly. Now, well, let's clean this up a little bit. Solve for dx. If you solve for dx, you get du is equal to 2x plus 6. Right? Du over 2x plus 6 is equal to dx. But look, I'm looking up here, and I'm looking at this x plus 3. But look, if we factor the greatest common factor out here, won't this turn into 2 times x plus 3? Remember we had, right? We had 2x plus 6. 2 times x is this 2x. 2 times 3 is this 6. But look, if you can look forward a little bit, I, I can see now this thing is going to cancel this thing up here. That's really good news for us. And also, I want to make sure that you're able to see that there's a 1 half down here. You can see the 1 over 2 down here. So I'm just going to start rewriting. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take out my 1 half. So this 1 half right here is this 1 half right here. Um, then I get, you know, oh, let me show you my work. x plus 3 over, right, 
u squared. Isn't that right? U squared times du over x plus 3, right? And 1 half I brought out to here. The du is this du. The x plus 3 is this x, this x plus 3. So I can get out here. This is really good news for us. Isn't this thing's going to cancel this with this? I don't know if you can see why, but I really thought I had an ln there for a second. But it's not. And the reason that it's not is because of this pain in the right here. So I can't do that. So I'm going to have to rewrite this. I'm going to take this one half. And so I'm going to start to integrate. Get this in integratable form. So this, I'm not really going to integrate yet, but I want to get an integratable form. So 1 over u squared is the same as u to the negative 2, isn't it? du. All right. Now we can integrate, can't we? So we integrate here, and this goes, this one half is this one. This becomes u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. Clean it up a little bit more, and we'll get um, 1 over, it's actually negative 1, because I'm going to take negative times a positive as a negative, so I'm going to put it here if you don't mind. And u to the negative first is the same as u, isn't it? Plus c. Is that good math? There, that's very good math. Where's my 2? Oh, I forgot this 2, and this 2 is this one. Wow, I almost messed that up. Sorry. And now I'm going to just resubstitute, so we get negative 1 over 2. Remember, we're going to resubstitute for u, and u was x squared plus 6x minus 5, right? plus c, right? So that should be a good answer there. We can take a quick peek if you want to. Quick peek, I actually went back and my math here. And lo and behold, there it is when we get it on the calculator. Okay, let's go back and do that. Uh, do one last problem. It's really, really easy, but it looks, looks absolutely terrible. And it was question number 73 that you asked me to solve with you. And it's one of my favorite problems because it looks so bad to be so easy. So it's number 73, Kyle, and it is sine of 3x, right? I'm going to put this, times cosine x dx. And, God, it looks awful. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. I mean, check this out for a second. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this way. Let me see. This is what I have. I have sine of x to the third power times cosine of x dx. And now, this is what I'm paying attention to now. I'm trying to do this pattern recognition idea, and I'm asking myself, is it possible that this is g prime at x, and that that would make this f prime at g of x? So, if, and it is, because what is the first derivative of sine of x but, but this, right? So, that's really, really good news for us because all we have to do now is we, I'm not even going to do this u substitution. I'm just going to eliminate this, if you don't mind. And if you need to, do u substitution and do let u equal sine of x, and you're going to get du over, uh, du over cosine of x, and you're going to cross that thing out. But I'm not going to bother with it. I'm just going to skip to it. Um, if you want to see it, ask me in class. But so I'm just going to go ahead and, and integrate here. I'm going to go straight to integration. And if you look at it, so we'll have um, sine of x to the fourth, right? 3 plus 1 is 4 over 4, isn't that right? Plus c, right? And I am going to go back and clean it up a little bit, make it just dress it up a little bit, make it a little bit more presentable. So my final solution will be, I don't know, some people like to have all under one uh, one fraction board. I don't care about that so much, but certainly it will be sine to the fourth x plus c. And that's all I have to say about that. So I hope that was really helpful. If you want to see this uh, on U-Substitution, just ask me first thing in the morning. We I'll be glad to show it to you. And we're done.